Okay, uh, welcome back to part three, and I'm sorry for the all of a sudden end because yeah, my phone started to ring and it was from work, so I had to actually stop the episode. But let's continue. Okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me, for the wall to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? Uh, AJ? <laughs> hey there, what are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. You're gonna get cold down there. The bed's a lot warmer. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. <laughs> if I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. Okay. It's not so bad down here. Okay, okay. You can sleep under the bed. Here, for your head. Let if me you know want if you get to. Cold. I will. Okay. Good night, AJ. Clem? Yeah. I'm glad we're not sleeping in the car anymore. Yeah. Me too. End of the road. Yay. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way! Hey, AJ, wait up! Tin's here! Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. You already know what happened to them. They weren't strong enough. No, that's not true. They were super strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Ugh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Come on, AJ. You shouldn't do that. That wasn't yours. Look. He's so hey, cute. What'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Damn, 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 I don't want to hurt the dog. Please stay back. Yeah. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Hey, hey. 
Hey, hey, it's okay, dude. You said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of them. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Uh... Rosie. Shh. Sorry. Sure. I promise she's not gonna bite. <sighs> okay, I guess. She's cute, but. Let her get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Oh, puppy. Tell her to lie down. <whistles> lie down, Rosie. Oh, smart doggy. And in the bed too, cause why not? That's more comfy. That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. Oh, Rosie. Oh, good girl. When this place was still functional. So when the world went to shit, we bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow. Well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. <laughs> She's so cute. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Uh, okay. Uh, train station. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. Hmm. Old track. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here. Right along the river. It's secure, mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine and Brody should be heading out there in a bit. Mm -hmm. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. Wanted this place to be hard to find. Smart. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. And what's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and a Sam are set to go check them today. Mm-hmm. And yeah. the greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and food's become more scarce. So... Why not go outside it? I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah, well multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha, huh. shit, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Oh, you did. Everyone's counting on me to step up. 
be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the fish. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Oh damn! Thanks. Want me to go all alone? All hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we could stay. What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. Nice. I like that guy, honestly. I just want Clementine to find somebody. You know, that perfect somebody that she. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna shut up. Let's fish. I choose this one because I like fishing. You know, I've been thinking. Yeah. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. <coughs> You're yeah. able to get a car working? And you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, bye. Are you sure you trust my driving? I promise I don't usually crash. <laughs> Oh, right. On second thought. Yeah, I think Clem just totaled the last working car in the world. So much for your road trip. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. <laughs> I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. And we'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission. Buzzkill. I'd drive down to the coastline. Maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun. And die of skin cancer. Fun. <laughs> She's die. fun. I'll take skin cancer over, turn it into a walker any day. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, let's fish. I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. With her. I really like her, but she's so... I don't know. Where are those spears? Hey, about by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi and... I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <sighs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. <sighs> Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Hmm. Well, that makes me feel very special. Thank, Thank you. you. I mean, I 
hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? Uh, See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. Uh, oh. Oh, sorry. Oops. Forget I said anything. It, it was stupid of me to... I'm so sorry. I was I about to... Downstream. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. That was about to... So am I. Oh my god, See? I'm so sorry. I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I was about to do something, but it didn't. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh, there's a spear, but I want to talk to AJ first. Hello, buddy. Are you okay? Hey, you. What you looking at? V plus M. Violet and Minerva. What does that mean? It means that they were a couple. What? Violet was Minnie's girlfriend. Oh. Love. Oh my god, that explains it. Okay, well. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try to talk with her if it's really gonna give cool. me an option, Maybe but. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's go. I kind of screwed that up, did I? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess I don't realize it makes them easier targets. I wanna try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. Okay, here's me trying to... Oh my god... Oh, you luck? I got something. Good enough for me. Yay, I got a fish. That was easy. The game was like, come on, I'm gonna give you the first fish hey, because you can't sorry really. I last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. I'm sorry. We weren't trying to upset you. No, no, it's okay. Seriously, it's kind of nice having someone in there again. Let's catch another fish, shall we? Another one to go. Heads up, guys! The hole's not looking that great. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. God. Sometimes she just gets on my last nerve. You know? Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not like I hate her. I just. <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. She definitely thinks you hate her. Damn, girl. I don't think that fish deserved that kind of treatment. Well, damn, fish, you're too fish for me. Oh, come on. Okay, Jesus, I'm gonna... Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one! Good job, buddy! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Maybe because she never said sorry about Sophie and Minnie and not being able to save them. Did she tell you that? Mm, more or less. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... 
I didn't even get to say goodbye. I, I wanted to talk to Brody, to tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim, see if they had any better luck. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah, that would be cool. See? I thought you weren't gonna... I lied. <laughs> I Thank you. didn't. I just didn't click hey, the button. So <laughs> yeah, we're right behind you. I just wanted to make give you a surprise. No, I'm like, oh, sorry. Mm hmm Yay! And pressing buttons. Yeah, sometimes is a challenge. Please, no more zom zoms, please. I guess I'm asking too much, huh? That's not good. Where are those guys? Practicing making out with a toothless walker? <coughs> Gross. I know. Poor walker. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What? This isn't normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A Sam? Lewis! Spread out. See if we can find them. Watch out for monsters. Hmm. Empty. Huh. Is this a Bible page? Clem, found something. But I didn't finish. Uh. Monster. That's not really food, Guys, but over here. Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. <sighs> Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Take a second. Breathe in deep. And hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. I'll take this hall back to school. And maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlin kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. Uh, please don't make me think and choose. Oh my god, it makes- oh my god. Or there's no any other option here, so yeah. The train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or we could starve. That's an option too. Fine. Let's go. I mean, Marlon is not going to be happy about that because we are out of the safe zone. But we know food and surviving and eating and all that jazz. Yeah. 
We don't really have a choice now. I just hope I don't get people killed, honestly. <laughs> I hope I don't get people killed. That, that that's my only my only wish. Yep. Especially AJ is with me and I don't yeah, want him to get hurt. A lot more walkers than last time though. Yeah, no shizzles. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Oh, really? Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. Uh hmm. I need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. Yeah. Could be in. Might be able to get the walkers' attention. They do like to follow sound. Yeah, they do. Could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. You look like you've got an idea. Uh, no. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it, Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. Thank you. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. <laughs> you do that. I'll distract them. Till I see you guys reach safe cover. Then I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck. Hey, ugly. No, not you. Not you either. Sam. This one got on. Don't jinx it. I'll let Lois know when we're ready. What is he waiting for? Come on, come on. Fucking Lewis. Just give him a second. We don't have a second. Please, let's do that. I hope you're dead, buddy. I hope you're dead. No, he is not. Of course you're not. I yeah, kind of knew it. He was not dead. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? 
just in case. Just in case. Uh, should I be the one going down there? No. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Please don't sneak behind me or something. Stand. Are Slowly. you breaking? Kidding don't me? Yell. Don't try anything. Heck, are you? you? I don't have to. What do you want? I just want food. Same <gasps> reason you're here. Can we just split them? You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. You'll understand if I don't tell you anything. It wasn't really a question. More like confirmation. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. Count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking... Maybe more? You ask too many questions. I don't like it. Fine. We can play it like that. If you want. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Oh my god, no, no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my Don't god. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. AJ. This isn't yours. It's not yours either. I kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. <sighs> Can you give me an option to kill this Listen guy? Up, I have a... You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my merry. You understand? I'm gonna freaking AJ, attack you. What the fuck? What? Just take a bag and fill it up. I wasn't about to let AJ freaking shoot or something. Here's the great news, I killed that guy who messed up with our traps and food. The bad news, I killed another guy. <laughs> yeah, that was something. Oops, that was a nice, I know. Listening to me, Marlon, listen to me, I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine, we'll deal with it. And Marlon is not gonna like while. this. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. <laughs> Don't do that, buddy. Like, seriously, it's a lot. 
Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither had you. Where did you find all this? Uh, about station. that. Clem knew where it was. Train station, that's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. I hope you don't know him. Did he follow you? I don't think no. so. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. It took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? Excuse me? This is fucked. If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Really? Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious. Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. What the? If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Okay. Jesus, I'm sorry. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. <laughs> well... At least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be alright eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. Me too, but it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess that doesn't scare me because... I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, Everyone gets to be a person again. 
That's Sometimes nice. I draw the walkers the way they probably look. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie, the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can, can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? Hey, yeah. Me up. I I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? There we okay. go. I almost forgot. <laughs> That's cute. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Can I keep it's it? It's yours. It's ours. Oh. Thank you, buddy. It's getting late. Yeah. You guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, I guess I'm gonna stop here and yeah see you guys I guess in the next part and probably the last so yeah bye